everybody. Welcome in. We have our live thrift haul tonight. So we're going to be going over everything we picked up from red, white, and blue. You'll notice that there is a lot less than what we showed in the video, which will be out tomorrow. Saw some, um, I have to take off some of the um, music in the background because it's uh, going to be demonetized. So you're, that'll come out tomorrow. But when you watch the video, you'll see there's going to be a lot less stuff here because we had to put back a lot of stuff. We didn't realize red tags were only 25% off. We thought they were 50% off. So a lot of stuff is red tag. We still picked up a lot of it, but um, we had to put back a lot too because it wasn't it wasn't the, uh, good enough priced. What's up, Ben? What's up, Trisha? Appreciate sure everybody hopping on in. We'll give it a couple seconds for everybody to load in. And then Kayla's going to do the women's items first because she's getting tired. She wants to get to bed. So she's going to do the women's items first, and then we'll do the men's items second. We already have everything sorted out, so it should go by pretty quick tonight. What's up, Kitty Cat? What's up, Jen? Jen, by the way, um, red, white, blue on Wednesdays, they have a 25% off tag now. Not everything's 50. They switched it up. They said that this might only be for this week, so we'll have to see. We'll probably still go next week on Wednesday just to see if the tags are really still 25% off. If they have one tag 25% off, which will be white tag next week. And if they are, then we'll probably switch the day. I don't know yet. We'll have to determine that. So 69th, you are 69th. It's my favorite number. Kitty cat with the heart me. Well, that's stupid. Let's protest. I know is the, the workers didn't even know about it. We went in today. What's up, Marianne. We went in today and they were like, the workers like, we have no clue. They just told us today that there was going to be a 25% off tag. So um, yeah, hopefully this is just maybe just after the holiday kind of thing. Um, but I think it's probably going to be a new thing there. So you just have to deal with it. Roll with the punches. Appreciate the food, Joel. Thank you so much. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, Kayla's, like I said, Kayla's going to go over the women's items first. So I'll hang out in the background and then uh, we'll go over all the men's items. We got some, not some like crazy finds today. It's a lot of bread and butter stuff, but it's still, it's really good store filler. So, all right, let's swap. You ready? I guess so. You're up to play. Hello. You're up to bat. I'm up to bat. Yep. I'll throw you all the right. items. I'm sorry, guys. I'm them. tired. The shocker. Every Wednesday night, every night, period, by like eight o'clock, I'm all done. What's up? Okay. I have a thing for finding alpaca recently. This is a Madewell size medium cardigan, but it's alpaca and wool blend. This is really soft. Super soft. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not going to. Okay. $7. But it's the 20 foot. It's red tag and it says 25% off. I'm not good at math. Just know <laughs> that the red is 25% off that price. Did you want, uh, where do you want this at? Uh, I don't know. We didn't think that far ahead. Um, Think that part. I'll just throw it in the winter pile and then we can go through it later. This yes. will be the winter pile over here. Yes, let's do that. Clearly, we didn't, you know, get that far. We didn't think that. Free people movement. These are of medium, medium shorts. These are probably going to be whatnot. There's a lot of whatnot stuff, is what I grabbed, was able to grab this week. These are cute. They have like side zips here. We paid $650. What size are they? Medium. Medium? Nice. Those are super, the, super soft. Stuff right here, I guess. Yes, let's make a whatnot pile. Hold on. We got a North Face size large dress. That's a nice one. This is a nice, this is also probably a whatnot. Here we go. 25% off. So everybody that knows how to do math. What is it, 10? It's $10. It's 750. 750. I worked at a preschool. I only had to count to 10. All right, that's all <laughs> I needed to know. All right. Are you gonna say this right? Desigual. Desigual. Hey, is I'm this like camera that. flipped? Um, no. Can you guys see the tags? Boom! Now it's flipped. There we go. Desigual. Nice, pretty pattern in the front. It's like mesh up here at the top. We paid ten dollars. Nice. I had good comps when I did look it up. Don't ask me what the price was. I think it was like, I don't remember, between thirty-five and forty. This one's probably gonna be a listed one, right? Yes, yes. Haven't decided yet. What is, ooh, this is the Lafayette 148. This is a cashmere and wool blend. So that's why I grabbed it. You guys are the best my husband and I thrift together too. Nice, thank you. It's like short sleeve. I was going to say cardigan, but it's not really a cardigan because it's not long sleeve. But many, it is cashmere. How much did you want? Oh, where's this one? Oh, wait. Winter pot? Wait. How much did we pay for it? $7.50? Yep. 
Look at me. I'm waiting on maths, that's guys. Because winter, I'll just throw it over here. No, winter. that's not winter. That's short sleeve. Oh, that is? Yes, it's a short sleeve. Oh, okay. We'll go north. North, north, north. So these new Attag Athleta jeans, if you've been on any of my live thrifts in the last, like, two months, have been sitting at the store for months and months and months because they originally had it priced at, like, I don't know, I can't remember. I think it was, like, $40. And we kept passing them, we kept passing them, we kept passing them because... Uh, they were like forty dollars, and there's no way these are Athleta Ten T, and we only paid seven dollars this time for some nice new tag jeans. So I couldn't pass them up, but I wasn't paying forty for them. They finally dropped the price. Where do you want these? What goes up must come down. Where do you want these? Um, listed or <sighs> listed? Listed? I don't. I don't know. We'll just throw them all in there. We'll we'll sort them later. Don't sort the lady stuff. Know. I can sort the men's stuff. Speaking of Athleta, these are large. We're going to attempt, if I don't put these on whatnot, the surfs, surf, the surf, surfs up method on these. These are nice stretch capri leggings. I think we're going to put these probably like 15 plus shipping and just see how they do. Because we only paid whatever, 25% off $8. What is it? 25% off $8. That would be six dollars. Six dollars for these. Yep. Hey, Amy. So we're gonna do that. Your free people beach stuff is sold. That one's already sold. Oh, the free people beach. Nice. Thank you. Right, so. Very cool. Hold on, wait. I gotta look at the material on this one. Everybody hear that plane going over our house? This is a Vince size medium wool cashmere blend cardigan. I want that cardigan. 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 If it's a large. Which this one? one or the the this one? There's a Madewell one. I think this is is this a cardigan? I think this is a cardigan. This right? is like a short sleeve. The Lafayette. Let us know which one. Yeah, and then DM me. Just DM me um, on Instagram or Facebook, and I can uh, I'll price stuff out for you afterwards. Chris wants the leggings if they are a small. Chris, you can. Chris, we'll keep an eye out for some small leggings for you. So yeah, we paid seven fifty for a wool cashmere blend. Lafayette 148 uh, cardigan. Winter. Winter? Um, I'll go over there. This one will be, this was interesting. I did look up. So the exact comp for this was like 40 to 45 bucks. This is a free people medium. But look how pretty. It does need, I'm going to toss it in the wash. But look how pretty. Look at the pattern here on the sleeves. It's very nice. That is really nice. I do like that. It's like a, a like it's, it's not, like a full zip. It has a southwestern pattern to it, like the the sleeves on it. With the Aztec. Yeah. Well, it's like a southwest pattern, and this isn't leather, right? This is a cloth. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice piece. So this will get listed in the, in the winter, but um, yeah, it's really nice. This is a medium, free people. Your other athleta is sold. Sinless, we appreciate you. Um, I try to give you a better deal on those second athleta because you always come back and purchase from us. So <laughs> those athletas are sold too, the second ones. All right, never mind then. Sinless are you ma are from. you marking who has the tech? Thrifty, yes, listen, we, did this. we did this before the live. <laughs> we are like ahead of the game here. We wanted to sort stuff out. I want to try to get done to ASAP for her because she That's said tight. she was pretty tired today. Is this um winter? Winter. So that free people is going to get um, listed in the winter, but I just thought it was super pretty. And it's like 40 bucks. We paid 10. Gym Shark Medium. These are probably a whatnot. We paid six dollars, right? Yeah. Yep. Joggers. Gym Shark joggers. Yep. It's got the nice Gym Shark hit on the front, just like the normal Gym Shark hit is right there. Boop. Nice little Gym Shark piece. These are bread and butter for us. Whatnot. What not? What not? Hold on, I gotta look at the tag. I wish we could play music and like keep the I know. background, but we can't because we'll get demonetized on Facebook and Mm. All those others. Eileen. Love my girl Eileen. Extra large. This is a linen blend. Pants. Nice comfy. Yes. Nice and comfy. Linen pants. Eileen. Oh, how much did we pay for her? It's half off. We paid $10. Hey, Chris's seven heartbeats. Good little pickup. Um, I don't have Instagram or Facebook. Riri. Um, what did what did what did she want? She doesn't have Instagram or Facebook. Which uh which cardigan? The other one. Um, 
Riri, leave me the um, leave me the item that you, well, I, I don't know how I would respond to you. Um, leave me the item you're interested in, in the comments. I can go back and comment on this and then we can set up. It'll be hard if you don't have Instagram or Facebook. It's going to be hard to be because you have to send your address to me. So I have to figure out a way to do that. Um, you can download Instagram really quick and just add me on Instagram and that'll be the easiest way. Uh, Cause I, I can't, we have to go back and forth in the chat and your, your address will be all over the internet. So I don't want that to happen to you. Ooh. These are a frame. Oh, you could email. Size 32. There you go. Yeah. I don't have a, I don't have a business email yet though. Um, I'll, I'll DM you an email address. Well, I'll set, not DM you. I'll, I'll message you an email address on the video and then we'll, we can set it up through email. Yes. But he said frame 32 plaid pants. We paid $10. Just the basic pants. Yep. Actually, they just have a cool pattern to them. They're like a herringbone or a hound's tooth plaid boot cut pants. Nice ones. Yeah, these are nice. Okay. This the Eileen with a little stainage. We might try have to try to get well, out. Well, now we're going to be able to tell on the light. Yep. Eileen, this is an older Eileen large, but this is organic lint or cotton. Hold on. We got to hold it in the light because in the store, it looks like there's spots of like that ne it needs to get washed. On the... But we also can tell if it was just the coat that was yellow. We have to put it in the light box. You can kind of see it right there against the side of the, like on the, you can't see it on the screen. Like is it in, the coat? In hand, it looks yellowed right here. Like somebody's hand kept going into it and rubbing off, but it's uh, it's very faint. So if we do list it, we'll at least disclose that, but it's so faint you can barely see it. We almost pass on it because of that, but I think it's, I think it's just my eyes kind of tricking me too. That's so. like we couldn't decide if it needed to be washed or not. It does, We're gonna wash it anyway now. It has like a yellow, a yellow hue to it too. So it might just be the hue to the. Like, jacket. is it just the coat that's? Yeah, I don't know. The cardigan. Oh, when we throw like, it in no, that light box, coat. we'll be definitely be able to see. Yeah. But that's winter anyway. But we're still going to wash it. Spray tan hands. Right? Like, it's really weird. We were yeah, that's literally sitting there is. for like 10 minutes. We're like, is this yellow? Because That's probably what it here? is, actually. It's probably somebody who did spray. I didn't even think about that. You ladies that's in the true. chat. Did I guess you, you look in know. the pocket, though? Yeah, I looked in the pocket. The pocket's not dirty at all. So if it was spray tan hands, it probably would rub off in the pocket. But Oh, this is a U fart. You found yeah. this. You could go over. It's a woman's item. You did. You found a nice Athleta jacket for six bucks. Spray tan hand. Yeah, like that, that makes, a lot, sense, makes a lot of sense now. How do you your, determine your boy is natural? So I never had to get a spray tan. Old eyelids by the tag. Yeah, so that's an older tag, the beige tag. The black tag is the newer tag. Yep. Uh this will be for our winter. We paid six bucks. What size? This is a extra small. Extra small. This is nice. It's in good condition. Winter. <laughs> Oh, what else we got? All right. We did pay $12, but these are new at tag uh, North Face. Flight Series North Face pants. Yep. Brand new. Yep. Could resist. I didn't find any good leggings. Like, this was in the leggings section. That's all I got. They might have had a sale on Monday, though. I was, I I was thinking that. Yeah, they might. Or they had an influx of people on Monday when they normally don't, and that bought out a lot of the stuff, too. So yeah. it could have been, been from that. The barefoot from two weeks ago was gone. It's the first thing I checked. There wasn't that many leggings. Um, yeah, it was. They, they were restocking a lot of stuff, so I'm guessing that, yeah, they probably just sold a bunch of stuff. Here's a large Madewell turtleneck. Wait, is this an alpaca one, too? There's another alpaca one in here. No, this is acrylic. Acrylic and cotton sweater. I like that pattern. Yeah, I do. It's nice, like it's almost like a camo. heavy, like chunky knit sweater. It's got like a camo pattern almost to it throughout. Yeah, it. it does. And we paid five dollars, and this will be a winter winter yes. list. <clears throat> How much did you guys pay? What did we pay today? We only pay. I think it was like five something. It was like five twenty or something like that. I think is what it I. It wasn't her. a lot. It would have been more, but like again, we didn't realize toward till toward the end that the red tags were not half off, and yeah. then we had to go back and like redo everything. Yep. <laughs> I picked up a masuk top today. Ooh, nice! I found a nice masuk dress and another cardigan, but it was too much because they were the red tags. Christine's asking if we'll go back on Friday. We're going to go to the other store on Friday. There's two red, white, and blues um, close to us, so we'll probably go to the other one on Friday. We might come back down 
and look at the one we went to today and see if any of the stuff we passed on is still there. Um, but we'll, we'll go to the other store on Friday instead of that store. Cause yeah, it'll be already pretty picked over. Yeah. Is Athleta a good sell through? It just depends on which Athleta you grab. The newer ones do better than the older stuff. This was seven dollars. Another new at Tag Athleta. These are or Athleta North Face. North Face shorts. These are nice, and it's a good time of the year to grab some shorts. We found a lot of good shorts. Mm -hmm. Just perfect. What size are these? These are sell very fast. Yeah, these are a size eight long too. So these are nice outdoor shorts. Mm -hmm. We'll get those. Those will, those will get listed ASAP. Listed or whatnot. We can decide that later. You don't we'll, know. That'll be a surprise. By the way, our, You'll our, never know. our whatnot show is on Friday. It's not on Saturday. We're going to plan to do something this weekend, but unfortunately, it's going to be raining all weekend. So we moved it to Friday beforehand, and we're just going to keep it on Friday. So mm -hmm. make sure you go pre-save the show. If you haven't saved the show already, it's up on whatnot right now. You can go pre-save it. Hold on. I just saw some. I found a new at Tag Figs top. That was a Star Wars special edition. The comps are wild. Ooh, that is nice. cool. I have not found a figs top yet that had like a special edition. So that's pretty cool. Made well medium. This I can tell you right now is the alpaca one. Alpaca blend. It's got it says alpaca dreamer. Fuel. By the way, it took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out what that said while you're sitting in the store. I'm like, what is that spell? It says dreamer. This is for later, later in the year. And we only paid six fifty for it. Is Kat not having a whatnot this week? Not this no, week. No, because she had a vacation. She took a vacation. She just got back um, today from her vacation. So she hasn't been able to go source yet. I believe Kayla wants those shorts. I, yeah. <laughs> I want lots of things. There's lots of cute stuff. Lulu size. Okay. Let me just fix the tag. Lulu size 10 skirt. Have not found a skirt before. So this is kind of cool. Uh, we did pay $12. But, um, this is probably a whatnot, maybe. We'll see. It's got a nice pattern to that one, too. There's the logo. And it has a little zip zipper here in the back. I didn't notice it had a zipper. Yeah. With the size tag, so. Nice whatnot. little piece. Or list. That's a good find right there. Ooh, okay, trivia. Who's this dude? Who is it? Name that brand. Name it. Who can Picked up my first brand? marine layer today. Nice. Smart wall, Jacqueline. Got it. I found this because the little guy was hanging out. He was $8, but these are nice. Smart wall. If I could just show it without my hand in the way. Pants. Well, really fast. They sellers. kind of feel like leggings more so than pants. But. These are nice. Yeah, these are good. I'm so glad the little dude was hanging out mm -hmm. <laughs> the spot. I like walked by. I'm like, oh, I know you. Mm -hmm. You're familiar to me. Those will get listed. You found this one. Yeah, you can go over though. It's a women's. Okay. For six fifty, we found pound. We found a small North Face basic fleece. Yep. Cute. I'm still picking up North Face, even though everybody says they're canceled. I'm picking them up. But guess what? By winter time, everybody will forget they were canceled. Mm -hmm. and everybody will buy them. This was whatever 25% of $6 was. New it tag. This is actually specifically for whatnot because it has a cute little Mickey Mouse on it. And these are joggers. Mickey Mouse joggers. And they're new. Those are so nice. Those will be on whatnot this These are for whatnot. Everybody loves Mickey Mouse. All right. Um, that fifteen bucks. <laughs> How does he does his math off the top of his head so fast, and I'm like counting on my fingers. You know what I do is I do half, and then I half the half really quick. So half of twenty is ten, and then half of ten is five. So you take five off of twenty, and that's how you get the price. <laughs> All right. Too hard. So fifteen dollars. <laughs> Mountain Hardware. Where is it? A Gore-Tex jacket. Oh. Cortex. Nice full zip. I think it's a size large, I believe. Yep, size large Gore-Tex. And it's in really good condition, so this will be nice to list. Yep, that'll be... Uh, math ain't mathing. Math never has math for a, me. That's a winter item, though, so we'll list that later on once it gets a little, a little cooler outside. Oh, yeah. That's super nice. It is really nice. Super nice. 650 another North Face... Like a Denali jacket. What'd you do? No, I'm sure. Oh, I was like, oh no. 
There's the head on the back for later this year. It's almost one of those Mickey pants, but they're a little too big for her. She's like, dang it. Too ah, big for yeah, me. They are, they're super soft. Like, they're really nice. So this is super, I really like this. It is an extra small, free people. And we did pay $10. But it's like a faux leather, full zip, like, jacket. It's really cool. And it's got a hood. It's got the hood and it's got the belt here. That's a really good piece. And it's really nice. It looks like real leather, too. It looks like a leather like I mean, moto leather jacket. But yeah, it's even got the like the hood, so it looks like you're wearing a hoodie underneath yeah. your it's almost like a biker, your leather jacket. Like a biker jacket. Yep. Free people style. This is really cool. Biker look, right, Pam? That's what I was thinking. I was like, yep. you know what? I've never seen I have yet to see this type of jacket from free people before. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snag that. It's definitely worth picking up. Vegan leather, then it sells super quick. Where does it well, it's we'll have to it's, look? Because it's faux leather, so it's vegan leather. But yeah, it looks oh, yeah, it looks awesome. just like real leather. When she showed me that, I thought it was like a Harley jacket or something yeah. that she was bringing to me. It should say on the tag if it's real leather, though. Yeah, we're going to have to double check. Yeah, I don't think it is. I don't think it is either. When I looked at it, I didn't see anything that said real leather. Does it say vegan leather? Um, well, I guess outer, it's faux leather. Uh, I'll find it in a second. Go ahead He's and looking. about that one. Size 10. Here's another pair of North Face shorts. Outdoor hiking shorts. We paid six bucks. Yeah, the outer is actually rayon. It's a rayon with a coating on the outside to make it feel like leather. So it's, yeah, it's faux leather. Faux leather, yeah. But it's still pretty cool. Still yep. nice looking. Yep. Here's another whatnot piece. This is a whatnot piece, another Disney. We paid whatever, 25% of that. $4.50. $4.50. Big old Mickey hit. Mickey Mouse sweater. You could have a whole outfit. You could have the Mickey pants. And mm -hmm. the sweater, except the sweaters are small. Yeah. The pants are an extra large. You have to have big hips and <laughs> small body up top. Those are nice pants. North Face shorts. They are. They're really nice. Very lightweight. Good for like being outdoors. So this mm -hmm. needs a wash. And I will be going back for the other one when it's cheaper. Another North Face size large. You said it was 600 series, right? Yeah, 600 series. 600 series. Oh, I got like step backs, like a parka, mm -hmm. like trench coat, parka, North Face. It doesn't need to get thrown in the wash, but she's pretty. And we only paid seven fifty. Good thing about these kind so. of jackets is even though they're stained up, sometimes people will still buy them because they're going to buy them to hike and stuff like that. Yeah. So they don't really care if they're super clean. Uh, but I think we should be able to get most of the stainage out. From the, yeah, just throw it in the wash. I found a matching vest to that today. Oh, nice. This one, seven fifty. North Face hoodie. Just a very nice color. How do you wash those puffer jackets? I'm gonna We're stick it gonna, in the washing machine. Yeah, wash it, but don't dry it. We're not gonna dry it. But you all know how I am with the washer and dryer, so. Put it on delicate setting. <laughs> yeah. I shrink and stain things all the time, so I'm gonna let him do that. This one doesn't have a tag, okay. so we have to take uh, measurements of this one. This is a teddy sweater. It looks like a size, like, small. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like a no, small. No, I'd say small. Yeah. But this... it's one of the nice, fluffy teddy sweaters. Yeah, this is pretty. And it's a nice gray color. Here's the North Face. It really, they really ripped the... Yeah, they ripped that. They have a tag it's at the like bottom. Inside? No, they have a tag at the bottom, but it doesn't. Maybe it's in the pockets. I didn't check the pockets. No, I don't see it. Yeah, I think they ripped it out. Man. Yeah, I'd say a small, but nice teddy sweater. We'll put the measurements in and then they can compare it to something they own. And then this. The person didn't pay me for it, but I still bought it anyway. Oh, come on. But who doesn't love the Golden Girls? Everybody, in, everybody in my chat was like, pick it up. Golden Stay Girls. Golden. Golden Girls sells. And it was only like three bucks. Yeah, it was three seventy five. I think is what that would be. Um, so I was so like, petty. what, what the heck if they, if that one person wanted it so bad and everybody loved it in my chat, I'm sure somebody else will buy it. So even if somebody, you know, doesn't buy it here, then I'll just sell it on eBay. I probably could get like 20, 25 bucks for it. I thought it'd be fun just to try to sell extra large. Yeah. I don't sell stuff like that too often, but everybody in my chat was like, golden girls, I love the golden girls. Golden okay. girls. Listen, it's I an like older it. photo of them too. So. Hey, my mom would wear that. Yeah. All right. You stay there for a minute. Oh, wait. Move some stuff over. Oh, yeah. You got your final item. And my, this is for me. I bought something for me because we were by the book section, which is not a good spot to leave me at. 
the silent patient. I've read really good reviews about this. So uh, we paid $3. So I'm excited to add this to my list of books, my ever growing list of books to read. This one's for me. That's all the women's stuff that I found today. We found some good stuff. It wasn't like a big batch of stuff. I did leave behind quite a bit yep. because of the pricing, but next week, we'll grab it next week. That book is really good. I read it. Ooh, okay. I've read really good things about it. So I've read a total of zero books in my life. Maybe, maybe one I was forced to read when I was younger, but I don't read. I'm like Gary Vee. I don't read books. You don't read. And I've read six books in the last like three weeks. No, nope, I read my chat. That's, I get, I probably read a book a night every night because I read my chat. <laughs> Even though it's the same questions over and over again, I probably still read a book a night. So that's oh my, my reading. Gosh. All right, guys. I'm going to go to bed. I am tired. Yeah, she's she's tired. Should we yes. do the women's items first, get her out of here, and then we'll do the men's items. We got some furry on my chest. You're fuzzy. I'm fuzzy. All right. All right. Bye, Bye, guys. Night. Bedtime. Go get some sleep. All right, people. Take my book. We'll go over the... Men's items now. I got a decent amount of men's. We actually probably got just about the same amount of women's items as we did men's today, which is perfectly fine because we still have a big death pile. So we just, we really need to focus on women's because we're kind of out of women's in our death pile. So um, y'all are so cute and I love your courage to drive your own business. Appreciate you, Pamela. Thank you so much. Um, is whatnot fees less than eBay? I think whatnot fees is a little bit more than eBay, but it's quick sales. So I really don't know what the whatnot fees are exactly. I got to really look at that and figure that out. But all right, let's go ahead and get started. First up, I left a couple of these, but I picked up um, I picked up a couple and I left a couple. This is on Tuck It shirt. It is a size large. We paid seven fifty for it. I really wish they kept the tag schedule because this would have only been five bucks, which would have been perfect. Seven fifty is kind of pushing it for Untuck It, um, especially for a large size. But this is a really nice soft like flannel shirt. Um, I should be able to sell this between twenty five and thirty five. So I figured I'd pick that one up. Next up, um, we did pay up for this one, but I've done good with these. Appreciate the heart me. Um, paid eight bucks for this, but this is a Polo Ralph Lauren cowl neck. It's a size large, just a cowl neck sweater. Really nice. Um, I do pretty good with these come winter time. Um, I normally get like 25 to 35. So I picked that one up. Um, again, we'll list that around winter time. 8% plus 30 cents. There's with eight. So it's 8% plus 30 cents. Is that true? I feel like it's more than that, but maybe it is true. I just don't pay attention to it. Next up. Um, this is actually a pretty good find. Um, these are seven for all mankind men's jeans. So anytime you find this font right there next to the seven for all mankind, those are always going to be men's jeans. The men's jeans have that font. The women's jeans have a different font. Um, this is going to be $6 and 50 cents. Just a pair of seven for all mankind men's. I'll list these this time of year. I should be able to get 35 to 45, depending on the size on those. I pick up seven for all mankind all the time. Send you a message on Instagram about the golden girls. Okay, cool. I'll, uh, I'll hit you up right after live and we'll get that over to you. Um, get you over the price on that one. I'm not going to charge you a ton because I don't, I, I wasn't going to pick it up anyway, to be honest, but my chat, my chat told me to pick it up half off or not half off 25% off 1299. This is a men's North face. This is a good one. I was about to leave it behind, but it's got that camo print on the North face. You can see backwards. You can see right there that camo print normally camo, anything North face sells well. Um, this one is also, I think it's a men's medium. Uh, no, it's a men's large, which is okay. Men's large sells pretty well. This will go into the list later pile. We'll list around Christmas time or not when it gets cold, not Christmas time. We'll list around September. So huge North face hall. Yeah. We, well, every, anytime we go to these stores, these stores get their inventory from up North and they ship it here. And a lot of times the North face they'll list lower because North face doesn't sell that well here where we are in Florida. We're in the Tampa Bay area right now. It's like 85 to 90 degrees outside. Nobody's buying hoodies this time of year. So they price those low. And because they constantly are getting them, it's not like Goodwill. I know a lot of Goodwills in most areas will stop putting out sweaters and jackets. Our Goodwills will do that, but this store doesn't because they still get an influx of this stuff. So they'll keep putting it out and they'll start lowering the price on it. So I'll still pick it up. For example, like these um, knit sweaters, we paid 15 bucks for this one. It's a good brand to be on the lookout for. Aaron Crafts. I think it's Aaron or Aaron or something like that. Nice knit sweater in like perfect condition, 100% Irish wool, really nice sweater. This is like 60 to $70 around uh, winter time. I'm not going to list that this time of year because it won't move. It'll sit for a long time. Have you seen um, Corey Kitten's book 
Are you with me? Um, me? Don't ask me that. I don't look at the book section. You just missed the person. You should ask that question. You should DM her and ask her. She can, but me, I don't look at the books. I sold a Mizzen and Main today for 47 plus shipping. Holy cow. Thrifty duckies. That's insane. Cause I'm only been able to move mine for like 35. So that's nice. Ridiculous fisherman sweater here. Well, here's another one. Here's another one. We paid half off on this one. It's the same brand, hundred percent wool made in Ireland and $15 again for this one. Nice, heavy, wool sweater this one doesn't have a crazy pattern to it but it is knit so these knit sweaters again come uh come closer to christmas time when it starts getting colder outside they sell very very well people like those heavy duty sweaters nordic nordic yep <clears throat> barry just pinned his comment and got ripped down immediately um are kuji men's blazers any good i don't know i'd have to look you'd have to look up comps on those i don't find kuji men blazers too often I picked this up because Surf's Up picks these up and he sells them very, very fast for, I think he said like 22 plus shipping or something like that. So I paid 750. I'm going to give this a shot. If this sells really fast, it's a good size Under Armour pair of golf shorts or golf pants. If these sell really fast, I'll start picking these up because I used to pass these all the time. But because, you know, my boy Surf's Up's been saying he moves these quickly, I might be able to open myself up to buying these more often. Um, good size, good pattern, great condition. So I'm going to list these. Um, I'm going to ask him first, is it 22 or 27? Maybe somebody in the chat knows what he lists them for. I think it's 22 plus shipping if I can remember correctly, but I'm not sure what's going on with North face. They, everybody's canceling certain brands. They brands get canceled all the time. You can look it up. I don't feel like talking about it, but, um, I personally, I'm still going to pick them up because I think they will still sell come winter time. People will have forgotten about it and they'll move on to something else. Um, we paid $15 for this, did pay up for it. I did look up comps. They looked pretty good. Um, this is a Bonobos blazer, really good condition. Um, I didn't look up this specifically, but I'm going to look that up later. Um, size 42S, which I believe smaller sizes and bigger sizes, what you need to look for for sport coats and blazers, really good condition. I think comps were like around 60 bucks plus shipping for this. So that's probably what I'll list it for. So 22. Yeah, that's what I figured. I think it was 22 is what he said. So. All right, I'm hitting the bed, bro. Peace out, uh, Treasure Vintage Shop. Thanks for stopping in. Um, I sold three pairs to the same buyer, I believe 22 a pair in a day. There you go. Okay, so Surf's Up Method works. Uh, we're going to give it a shot. And if it works, then I'm going to start picking them up because I've, I've actually been passing Under Armour for years. I thought it was like a dead brand, but Surf's Up uh, opened my eyes. He opened my eyes. Next up, we paid $10 for these. Look at the pattern on them first before I show you the brand. I'm going to obviously hold these till... These will actually sell, but uh, these are candy cane um, corduroy pants. The brand is Castaway, which is a good brand to be on the lookout for. They make these styles of corduroys with like, you know, fish all over them, crabs, stuff like that. Um, so I picked this up specifically. I'm going to list it around September, October-ish, list these, and then hopefully they sell before Christmas time, which I'm assuming they will. This will be a cool, like if you wore like, you went to an ugly um, sweater party and you wore these as your pants that party you'd be the life of the party but uh really good nice heavy duty corduroys too if these didn't have this on it and they had like fish i'd probably still pick them up at that price i sold a pair of um shorts in that brand for like 40 bucks so under armor has two types of levels one is costco and one their store in my opinion the costco one is obviously more basic yep i agree i agree Xmas in July party. Yeah, that is. I probably still won't list those for Christmas in July because if they don't sell them, they'll be listed for a long time. And that'll be like something auto posture will bring down in price for me. I don't want that to happen. So I um, had Under Armour golf pants on eBay for 20 Canadian and hasn't sold. OK, so he lists for 22 plus shipping, but I'm picking up bigger sizes and base basic colors that are good. Like solid black is a really good colorway. So that's why I decided to test that out. I did sell an Under Armour long sleeve shirt the other week on Mercari, I think for $27 within like two days. So obviously um, they have been selling. They, they sell decently well. We paid half our 25% off five for this 511 tactical. Again, I wish this was half off. If this was two weeks or a week ago, this would have been half off for $2.50. This would have been absolutely no brainer. Um, but this is not a crazy sale. This is going to sell between 20 to 25. Um, it's a good size, I think. Yeah, it's a size large. So we'll see how it does. I think I can at least get 20 for it. And I, I paid a quarter off of uh, $5. So worth picking up, I think. Worth picking up. It's got Red Lobster Castaways. They sell quick. Yes, I, that's the one I think I sold. But they were a pair of shorts. So 
I was in Robert Graham outlet and they had a whole rack of 1999 shirts, bought a whole rack. Steven, that's dope. By the way, I love the way you spell your name. That's exactly how I spell my middle name too. That's really good. 1999 for, are they t-shirts or are they like long sleeve dress shirts? Um, US market is probably bigger. Um, that could be the difference. Probably. Yeah. I would assume so. That's a good point. Um, so we paid 25% off 13. These are carbon to cobalt pants. I've never sold their pants before. I've sold their shirts. I believe their pants do pretty good. I didn't look up comps. Um, I probably should have on these. Um, so don't go out and buy these right away until obviously I sell them and I let you guys know, but I'm pretty sure carbon to cobalt pants are like at least at 35, um, maybe a little bit more dollar sale. Um, so yeah, carbon to cobalt, pick those up. Um, next up another, I wish it was half off, but they're doing 25% off now. Um, untuck it. This would be 750, just a short sleeve untuck it. These have been moving pretty quick for me for 25 to 25 to 30 bucks, especially in a size medium because short sleeves are in right now. It's getting summertime. So people, people are picking up these nice dress shirts. So pick them up if you can pick them up cheap, cheap enough. Like I said, I wish these were only five bucks. Do you ever pick up Buffalo David Britain pants? I've never picked it up myself. No, I don't think I've ever found a pair to be honest. Next up, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about this. This is a size small, but I believe this is ministry of supply. It just says ministry, but before I believe they said ministry of supply, I think they changed their tags over. So I haven't seen the newer tags. I've only picked up the older tags, but I'm almost positive this is ministry of supply, which if it is, it's a really good brand to pick up. Um, I sold a ministry of supply shirt on Mercari like oh last week and less than two days after I listed it for almost full price. But I believe this is, it's 650 and that tag, it looks like the same font that they use. So if it's not, this would have been a bad pickup. I didn't look up comps because I just assumed this was Ministry of Supply. I should have looked at the inside tag actually to see. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. It just says archive. So I'll look this up afterwards. And if, if it is Ministry of Supply, it'll sell really, really fast. Couldn't find anything. Yeah, so maybe this is a bad pickup. If it's not Ministry of Supply, I'm just hoping it is. Um, I'll actually put this off to the side and look it up after the live to make sure. If not, then I'll, uh, I'll probably just redonate that. Here's a decent pickup. You guys don't see me pick up J Crew too often, but this is a J Crew that I would say to pick up because it will sell decently well. Paid six fifty for this. It is a Madras, Madras, I think is how you pronounce it, and it is a patchwork, full patchwork shirt. So anytime you find patchwork Madras stuff, Ralph Lauren, J Crew, Brooks Brothers, pick it up. They sell decently well. This is like a style that people really like picking up, especially when it's got this patchwork style all the way through it. So. Um, I'd have to look up comps. I'm assuming at least $25 for this, probably close to that $35 mark. So TikTok took down two of my posts with music um, and 60s prom dresses. Wonder why? I have no clue. Madras, 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 Madras. I'm horrible at pronouncing things. Do you think Tommy Bahama Linen Ralph, and, or Ralph Lauren men's shirts um, sell better? I am Ralph Lauren. It depends on the print, Mickey. Mickey, it's really, that's a good question. But if, a, for example, if it's a, Tommy Bahama with a super loud print and you're comparing that to a basic solid color Ralph Lauren shirt that's 100% linen, I would say the Tommy Bahama would sell for way more than the basic Ralph Lauren. It also depends on the size too because if you're talking a small against a 2XL, the 2XL will probably command a little bit of a higher value. So how do you photo photograph your items to make them sell fast? That light box and then that light box behind me. If you want to see how my photos turn out, I use both of these and I do lives throughout the week where I take photos on live and I show you that process. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow night. So come back to my live tomorrow, 9:30. I'll show you that process. If you want to buy either one of these light boxes. They're linked in my bio. Next up, another J crew, another Madras shirt. Um, this one was a quarter off. So it would have been um, $4 and 50 cents, but again, nice patchwork. And it's got a paisley print throughout it too. Appreciate the gifts, by the way. It's got a nice paisley print going all throughout it. Um, geometric. So pick up these. These will sell really well. Um, this is one of the only J Crew items that I'll actually pick up. So um, Kimberly, Kimberly coming in with a question that I always love to hear. What are your top five men's shirts brands? There are so many out there, Kimberly. I don't have a top five. I don't have a top 10. I don't have a top 20. Um, it really depends. I love picking up brands like Patagonia, Arcteryx, North Face, but I also like picking up some Ralph Lauren's. I love picking up Tommy Bahamas. I love picking up Rain Spooner. It really just depends. It also depends on the time of year too. This time of year, I'm obviously going towards short sleeves more than I'm going towards long sleeves. So if I were to tell you the brands I like right now, Arcteryx short sleeves, 
um, Tommy Bahama short sleeves, Rain Spooner short sleeves. Um, those type of brands are going to move quicker. So those are my favorites right now. As we get closer to winter season, you know, Arcteryx and North Face might push up um, on that ladder because they're obviously selling a little bit better. So we need a guru list. I know people ask for it. I don't want to do it. I just want to put out content for free and you guys can learn from me. Just watch my haul videos. Like I have so many of them right now on YouTube and Facebook. You can go back and learn all the brands I pick up consistently for free. Like obviously you got to put in work for it. You can't just pay for it. And even if you pay for it, I believe if you put in the work and you watch all the videos, you just listen to them in the background and like listen to what I'm picking up and other people are picking up. You'll learn so much more than you would from just a, uh, just a quick like brands list thing. Cause again, with brands, it depends really. Like I can tell you that North face is good, but you know, North face women's shorts don't sell as well as the nice down jackets do. So you have to explain that within your brands list. There's a lot that goes into it. So it's a ton, it's a ton. Uh, I'm playing. I learned by watching. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm just saying that for the people that would think the same exact thing. I, I got you. You're good. Next up. I, I was really on the fence about picking these up, but I'm probably going to lot these two together. So you'll see, I got this pair of um, foot joy for six bucks just a solid um, gray pair of foot joys. And I got another pair too. So what I'm thinking of doing is lotting both of these up. I paid $6 each for these and I'll probably lot them up and try to sell them for like $40 plus shipping. And that'll be worth it. Um, it'll be one listing. I'll be able to sell both together and I'll probably sell a little bit quicker. So if that works, then I'll start doing this more often because foot joy has been sitting for me, um, especially the shorts. Last year, this time foot joy shorts used to sell really, really fast. Um, and for good money. And now it's kind of taken a little bit of a hit. So my best find today, new attack, Athleta, um, Urbanite top paid $6 sold last sold for 74. Let's go. That's awesome. Rain spooner. Yep. Um, what would you sell a solid colored Ralph Lauren polo for size, larger XL? See, that's, um, I know Michelle, it's a, that's a good question, but it's, 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 you tried to get you put in the size, you put in the brand, but it also depends on what the print is on the front. Is it a Ralph Lauren with a huge pony on the front with a big logo on the back? Or is it just a simple Ralph Lauren with a small logo? If it's a simple Ralph Lauren with a small logo, probably max you can get for that is like 15 plus ship. And that would be like top end. Um, so yeah, probably 15 plus ship. If it has something special about it. Then obviously you can list it for a little bit more. So a lot of variables. Exactly. All right. Surf's up. I wish Surf's up was here. I don't think he's in the chat right now. Surf's up. If you're in the chat, I got a gift for you, buddy. I thought of you as soon as I saw this shirt and I was like, you know what? He sent me a Kuji shirt. I showed it on live last night. Um, I don't know where it is. I think it's around the corner, but I have to return the favor. Okay. So he sent me a 4XL Kuji shirt. I was like, he's a really nice guy. I got, I got to do something for him because he's just an awesome dude. So I bought him a shirt, everybody. This is for Surf's up. Um, we paid, we paid $5 for it. I think that's about what he paid for mine, but this is going straight to Surf's up. Look at that pattern like this just screams surfs up finds right there look at the shimmer on that oh man so i'm, I'm definitely sending this to surfs up um i'll have to get his address again because i didn't keep his address but um i believe that he he deserves this it is his size too it's a size actually no it might be a little bit big but that's okay he sent me a 4xl which is quite big on me so he'll have to wear this on one of his lives i think he could pull this off so we're sending this straight to surfs up appreciate you buddy that's all yours he better wear it. He better. He better do it on live. We're going to challenge him. You guys better say, K-Way shirt, you better wear it on live. If he's not here, he'll never know what's coming his way. <laughs> he's going to get unwanted attention. <laughs> uh, I love Surf's Up. I love Surf's Up. Next up, we got a 511 Tactical. We paid 25% off of that price. So we paid um, $450, just a long or short sleeve. 511 Tactical, I believe it has the hidden pew-pew pockets. Somewhere in here, I believe it does. I think some of these do. I don't really know. I don't own any of these. But um, good size on this too. It's a size uh, three extra large. So really big 511 tactical solid black. I think I can at least get 25 for this. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be sending that his way, which I think will be good. I think Surf's Up could pull that shirt off. I definitely think so. All right, here's a bread and butter sale. Big size, solid white. Brooks Brothers dress shirt. I love picking these up. I did look it all over. There's some fluffs on it everywhere, but I got to just peel those off. 17 and a half solid white Brooks Brothers dress shirt. Uh, I did pay $7.50 for it, but this should go for at least $35 to $40. I might even list this for $45. Bucks. Bigger sizes in these sell way better. Um, they sell for more. So 
I'm gonna list this one up. It actually looks like it was maybe even new and it just got unfolded and the tag might've came off. I don't see the tag. Um, if you guys didn't know the tag is on these Brooks brothers is normally at the bottom button. This one is not new with tags, but it's still a really nice crispy solid white Brooks brothers dress shirt. This I probably will sell within a month and it'll go for, like I said, 35, maybe even 45 bucks. So pick them up, pick them up. Those foot joy sh um, shorts are great style for foot joy shirts. And we'll sell very quickly for 25 to 30. Yeah. So I might even list those for um, 50 plus ship, put them both together, give the person a good deal, maybe put best offer on and take an offer of 40 for those. So what's up, Mare Bear? All right. Here's a new to me brand. I did look up comps. I Every time I looked up comps on this and I hit sold, it would change it to October editions and it wouldn't keep the name. So super hard to look up comps. I think I'll have to do it on my computer, but the ones that were listed, I couldn't look up solds, but I looked up the listed ones and the listed ones looked like they were selling for really, or they were listed for really good money. The brand is called Octu October editions. I think is how you pronounce it. Um, it was only five bucks. This is made of hundred percent wool and it's just a crew neck sweater. So I'll have to do a little bit more research, but I'm pretty sure based off what's listed, I think most of these were listed around 60 to 80. I'll probably be able to sell it for right around that. So um, new to me brand, don't go out and buy it if you see it right away. It's actually the first time I've ever seen it, um, but I believe this is a good sweater. I'll make a video on it if it is really good and I'll uh, we'll give you guys an update on it. Any items you have had for a long time that hasn't sold? Oh yeah, I have, I have plenty of those. What's up, Dusty? I have plenty of those in my store, but I've been using Auto Posture. Auto Posture has been dropping the price on all of my items. I recently stopped doing that not yesterday, but the day before. So now all my items are getting relisted without the drop in price. In two months, I'll resume that again, where I drop everything by 10%. So I start moving some of that old inventory. That's the benefit to Auto Posture. Auto Posture has been great. Um, everybody who, I see a lot of creators now making videos about it. I think everybody was kind of on the fence. Like, do I do this? Do I not do this? And now I'm seeing a lot of creators like making these videos. Like Auto Posture is what everybody's been saying it is. It's for 35 bucks a month, you share your Poshmark closet, sends out offers on Poshmark. It recreates listings on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. It also sends out offers on eBay, and it does that for Depop as well. For 35 bucks a month, it does all that for you. If you use the code in my bio, you get $5 off. So for the first month, you get it for 30 bucks, you get it to do all that. So what I tell everybody is let it do its thing for a month. If it doesn't change your business, you spent $30 and at least you refreshed all of your listings for a month. Um, but trust me, you will like it every like Desti's over on um, YouTube saying worth every cent. So I, I mean, it's almost like a no brainer to where I think once people start catching on, everybody's going to be using it. It just doesn't, it doesn't, it makes no sense not to use it for 30. It's like you're hiring somebody to do all that work for 35 bucks a month. It's like absolute no brainer. So um, eBay just turned your switch back on. Nice. Let's go. It's amazing. Uh, what was that bad buy? If you go look at my some of my older listings, you can tell by the photos. You just go through my eBay store. There's there's tons of items that have been listed for a very long time. Um, before Auto Posture, I used to be able to click a button and see all my old listings, but now everything's relisted. But if you look at the photos, you'll be able to tell what's old, what's old and been listed for a while. Um, this is an Under Armour. It's a 2XL good size. I did pay $750 for it, but the last one I had listed sold super fast, so I decided to pay up for this one. It's a nice like army green color too. And I think this color does pretty well. So 2XL, I'm going to list this for probably surf sub method for like 22 plus ship and see how fast it sells. I think it'll sell pretty quick. Maybe it was AP. It might've been. Um, when you price an item, how much wiggle room do you leave for offers? So I put best offer on. I don't put an automatic accept. Um, so I'll look at how much I paid in my listing and my, um, custom SKU, I'll put the price I paid. So sometimes before I accept an offer, appreciate the uh, heart me, before I go accept the offer, I'll check what I paid for the item. So that way I know I'm going to make a profit or not. So have you ever tried one shop? Um, uh, it seems like auto posture. I never tried one shop. No, I've never tried like posture VA either. Never, never use something like that. Um, posture VA, I looked at the pricing on it. You're paying 30, 30, $25 to just have what auto posture does. Auto Posture, you pay $35 and you get it to do it on all four platforms. So really, you're using Posture VA and you sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. You might as well pay $10 more and you get more stuff, more bang for your buck. Um, this is another pair of those FootJoy shorts. This is the one I'm going to lot up with the other one. Same size, just a different colorway on those. So I'm going to list those for probably 50 plus ship, 40 plus ship, somewhere around there. 
Next up, men's North Face. This one was 25% off. Um, so it was $7.50. $7 just a simple men's North Face hoodie. Nice green color. This will be listed um, winter season, and these will fly during winter season. Um, is FootJoy moving for you these days? Like I said, I, if I'm listing FootJoy, I'm listing it lower. So those shorts I used to list for 35. I'm now listing them for 20 to 25, and that's about what they're selling for, like 22 to 25 bucks is the last couple I've sold, sold for that price. So what size are FootJoys? Um, I think they're both. I'll have to check the other one just to make sure it's the same size. I believe they are. Um, they are both size 36. Size 36. Here's a pretty cool find. I don't know where the other one is. Is it over there? I don't know where it is. Maybe it's still in the pile. I don't see it. Here's a vintage Banana Republic. I think this is a Safari shirt. Banana Republic. If you see that tag, that's the vintage tag. These are normally always a good pickup. Um, so this is a snap button one. I looked up comps on these. Sell through rate looks pretty decent. Um, and I should be able to sell this for around 25 bucks. And I only paid $7.50. Um, I actually thought this was half off. Maybe I paid too much for that at 750. I probably did pay too much for it, but, uh, if I sell it for 25, it's okay. And I think that's what it's going to go for 25 to 35. So today I snatch up two Johnny was pieces for 650 each. Nice. One was silk kimono and a pair of Pete and Greta. Johnny, uh, was jogger pants. Nice. That's a pretty good pickup right there. What was it? It was a vintage. It's a vintage. I'll show you another one. I got another one coming up here in a second. Uh, vintage banana Republic. Banana Republic. This I'm going to hold till later on um, in the season. This is a LL Bean, but it's brand new with the tags. Uh, we did pay full price for it. I paid six bucks. I mean, six bucks for a new tag LL Bean flannel is like a no brainer. I'm going to list this around when it starts getting cold out. This will probably sell for 35 bucks and it'll sell super quick. So you let, look like Jax from Sons of Anarchy. I've never watched Sons of Anarchy. Is he a good looking dude? That's all I need to know. Is he good looking? Because if he's good looking, thank you. If he's ugly, Boot him. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. There's the other Banana Republic. This is a Safari shirt. Um, we paid $5 for this one. That's why I think I picked up the other one because I thought it was half off too. And that stupid 25% off new rule threw me off. Nice Safari shirt. You can know it's a Safari shirt because it's got those multiple pockets on the front. These do really good. Like this is like a $35 sale all day long. Um, vintage Banana Republic. Basic Banana, Banana, Banana Republic. Don't pick up. But the uh, vintage labels, people like to look out for these. So he's really cute. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. You can stay. I might actually, you might just get modded for that comment. I'm just kidding. Next up, we have a Thomas Dean. Um, again, I wish this was half off because it would only have been four bucks, but it was $6. Don't really pick up Thomas Dean too often, but the pattern is what sold me. So this is almost like a Robert Graham feel to this shirt. Super nice, crazy, floral, paisley print all throughout. That's the pattern that sold me. If this was like a basic Thomas Dean, I would have passed on it. I think I can get 25 for this. I might even try the surf's up method on this and sell it super fast for, I might even list it for like $19.99 plus shipping and just move it super quick. But that pattern is what sold me. Really, really nice shirt. So what's up, Mac? What's up, Mac? What about Bugacci? If Bugacci had that pattern to it, I'd pick it up. If Bugacci was a plain like plaid pattern, no, leave it all day long. It won't move. Size on that, it is a size, it is a size large, size large, size large. And last up, I, I should have looked up comps before the live on this one because everybody told me to pick this up and I know, I think it's a good brand. I know it's a good brand. Um, I paid six bucks for it, but I can't tell you what it's going to sell for because I've never actually sold it before. Six dollars, I'll hit you up on it, so okay. Um, it's a size medium, but the brand, I thought it was Bonobos. Because I saw this, and I thought it was Bonobos at first, and I almost passed by it because Bonobos has that same B. But the brand is built. There's the brand right there. I'm actually going to look these up really quick while we're on live. Um, so that way I can tell you exactly where they're going to sell for. Okay, I just typed in built pants mend. All oh, these look really good. Okay. Um, in used condition, there's 108 listed, which is quite a bit. And there are, wow. Okay. This is a good brand right here. This will be good, um, for YouTube as well. All right, YouTube, YouTube can see this. You guys can't see this, unfortunately. So hop over to YouTube or Facebook if you want to. So here's the built pants, right? 
this is how you look up sold comps and this is how you tell sell through rate on these. So what we're going to do is we're going to, what we typed in right here is just built pants men's. Okay. If you want to watch this, hop over to YouTube. Um, you'll get a, you'll get a view of how I look up comps built pants men's. That's all I did. Um, it says 74 results, but people might have multiple quantities. So we look at this number right here. It says 108 currently listed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click sold. And this is going to tell us our sell through rate. So 108 and there's 286 sold. So that is over a 200%. That's almost a 300% sell through rate. And as you can see, these are selling very, very well. So $60 pre-owned, 54 plus shipping, 50, 33, 45. But because it has a really good sell through rate, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to list it a lot higher than I would um, normally because I know these are going to sell fast. So the ones that are listed lower are going to sell really fast and I'll list these higher and I'll try to get that higher dollar amount for these. But Built, Built is the brand. Be on the lookout for this. I thought I saw it in somebody's video recently and when I saw that tag, I was like, I know these are good. I know these are good. They almost feel like Lululemon pants, um, but they're not as stretchy. They're kind of like a non-stretchy kind of pant, but really, really nice. So I'm going to list these for 60 $60 free ship and I only paid six bucks for them. So if they sell for 60, that's a really, really good price. I ordered pizza. If anybody cares, Barry, are you going to eat it on live? We, we might go watch you eat pizza. Can you do like an ASMR live for us? We'd really appreciate it. You manifested those. Actually, I saw that um, Nature Coast picked up the cool. So you manifested cool, but Nature Coast already beat me to the punch. So he got those. Depends on the toppings. Yeah. But that's it. That's all we got. Like I said, this is definitely going straight to surf's up. This is a surf's up method shirt. What he should do is when he starts talking about the surf's up method, this will be his shirt to wear when he start talking about the surf's up method. But yeah, this is definitely going to surf's up. Buried, if I find a matching set, I'll send it to you. Okay. I know you're jealous right now and I'll, I'll send you one, buddy. I didn't, I didn't forget about you. So you check comps when buying, I check comps afterwards, but for the most part, most of the stuff I pick up, I pretty much know what it's going to sell for. I've been doing this for over four years and I sell consistently sell men's clothing. So when it comes to men's, I pretty much know like untucked shirts, when I see the size and see the pattern, I pretty much know what they're going to sell for. Stuff like that is where I would look up comps. But my chat went off um, when I found that. So I knew it was probably going to be a good brand. So yeah, I ended up putting a bunch back. I had to because we didn't know that red tags were 25% off. It's the first week the store has done that. Hopefully it's not a new thing. But if it is, obviously we'll have to pay attention to the tags more often and you know make sure we're not picking up the, the stuff that's too expensive. So can't wait to see surfs. I know. I can't wait either. He's going to look amazing in that shirt. But uh, the live thrift from today will be up tomorrow. There's a couple portions. I got to rip out the sound out of it. Also, I had um, me and Kat were talking on the phone today about, um, I don't know if I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to throw this out there and see if you guys like the idea. So what I could do is obviously the live thrifts are two hours long and some people don't wa like watching a two hour long video. So I've thought about doing to where I do a YouTube video where I pull out like my top 10 finds or top seven finds from each live thrift. And what I'll do is I'll do a split screen where I'll be on one screen. The live thrift will be on the other side and I'll talk about the pickup. And then afterwards I'll talk a little bit about the find. So we can cut that live thrift down to like a 10 minute video and it'll just be clips of what I found during the live. So you guys don't have to watch the whole two hour live to see exactly what I picked up and passed on. I can kind of go over stuff. So for example, I'd go over those built pants. I'd tell you like guys a little bit about sell through rate, talk a little bit about them. I thought about doing that. It would obviously be a lot to edit um, on my part, but I think you guys would probably enjoy that. So everybody likes it. Um, yeah, I think they would do. Oh yeah. I know they would do a lot better. It's just the editing. It's, it's hard for me to find time to edit. That's the, that's the issue. But if I dedicate like Sunday nights to editing, I probably could make it work um, just doing that. But it, they would obviously come out like on Tuesday. They wouldn't come out like right away because I'd need at least a couple of days to edit those. So yeah, what what you pass on is important too. Yeah, of course, I'll show some of that stuff too. And I'll show like what I passed on, like maybe a couple of things I passed on. Maybe I'll do like seven finds and like two things I passed on or something like that. So I'd rather watch, I'd rather watch the whole thing. Yeah, I think some people would rather watch the whole thing too. It's a lot to watch a two hour video though, so. Um, do you pick up cult of individuality jeans? Yes. I actually picked them up online arbitrage recent, recently and two pairs sold on Mercari to the same buyer for $175. It's a really good brand. I may or may not steal that idea. Go right ahead, Mac. You can steal that idea. Me and Kat were talking about that today and she kind of like brought it up kind of. And then I kind of finished the thought and I was like, wow, that's actually a really, really good idea to start doing that. So we might do that. Make a second channel called VODs opposed to full video. 
I'll just post everything to my one YouTube channel because it's already monetized. So if I want to make a little money off the videos, I might as well just post them there. Ever heard of Wallace and Barnes? Yes, Wallace and Barnes is pretty good. Depends on what you're picking up, but Wallace and Barnes is good. I will shout y'all out in every video. No, go ahead, Mac. Go ahead. You can you can steal that uh, steal that idea. You're not stealing it. You're just you're just uh, acting upon it, which is good. Can you counter um, at asking price? Can you counter at asking price? What do you mean? Like in the thrift store? Hey, I just sold a Tory Richard shirt for thirty one dollars and forty nine cents. Um, if you're asking about a thrift store, no. On eBay, yes, you can counter. So if somebody, if I put something on eBay for 50 bucks, I normally have best offer um, accepted so people can send me offers. So how do you get monetized? You got to get enough watch hours and you got to have enough of subscribers. Um, YouTube will tell you all that information um, on your uh, on your uh, creator hub or not creator. What is it called? It's called your creator studio. Yeah, it's called your creator studio. I love watching. I can't appreciate it. What happens uh, when they return an item um, that's not yours? That's never happened to me. Not once. I've never got somebody return an item that wasn't the item that I originally sent. Um, obviously, and sometimes they turn, return them in the condition that I didn't send them in. In that case, I wouldn't give them a full refund. Um, recently, I had somebody I sent out a new pair of pants to, and they sent me back the new pair with the tags stapled back on, which means they wore them. They also smelled like cologne, which means they wore them for a day or two, and then they sent them back and tried to get a full refund. Um, I don't give them a full refund. That's what happens. So Walson Barnes, or what did you say earlier? Walson Barnes, I think is a good brand. If I can remember correctly. Um, Wallace and Barnes. I don't know what you're picking up, right? <clears throat> yeah. Wallace and Barnes shirts sell for pre-owned like 30 to 35 bucks. Jackets go for upwards of 70 to a hundred. Pants and jeans go for like 55. So yeah, it depends on what you're picking up. But yeah, I just looked that up real quick on eBoy. Appreciate you well thrifted for the gift. Yeah, it's a J. Crew brand. Yep. How do you spell it? Wallace W A L L A C E, the and symbol, and then B A R N E S. Wallace and Barnes. Wallace and Barnes. But that's it. Like I said, um, we'll have the YouTube video out tomorrow, probably tomorrow mid-afternoon. I'll let you guys know. Appreciate you, Chris, for the, the cap. I'll put that out tomorrow afternoon. I'll make a post on my Instagram and on Facebook. So if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you look out for that post. Um, I'll be doing a morning packing live tomorrow. And I think Kayla actually wants to do the packing live. So I'll have her kind of pack the orders. I'll walk her through the process and then I'll have you guys walk through the process with her, which will be pretty cool. She wants to try to try to learn the shipping part. So Appreciate you, Chris. But um, that'll be tomorrow morning sometime around like 10, 1030. And uh, yeah, appreciate all the support recently. You guys have been insane, especially on Facebook and Instagram. Those two sites, I've seen such an uptick in um, activity. It's been amazing. So really, really appreciate all of you for hopping over there. Remember, our whatnot is on Friday and not Saturday this week. It's already up on whatnot. So go make sure you pre-save the show. That just got paid for, which is awesome. So go pre-save the uh, whatnot show. It's linked in my bio. Um, go sign up. If you haven't signed up, you get $15 spent for free. So you might as well do it there. I ate both of those. I missed them because the it's backwards. So it's kind of confusing, but I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and head off and I'm going to get some work done because I haven't done any listings today. So if anybody else goes live, I'll probably be hanging out in your chats and, uh, chilling with you guys again. Appreciate everybody in the chat. Thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys are amazing. I'll catch you on the